students, today I discuss about a very important theorem on complex number, which is new base theorem. Number case 
one n is positive integer n is a positive integer one two three four etc these are positive integers and we prove it we prove it by the induction method now what is in that induction method if a is true for what to etc then Let us suppose that the theorem is true for a equal to a. A is less than a. That is, cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power a. equal to cos m theta plus i sin m theta we suppose the theorem is true for cos theta plus i sin theta whole to power m equal to cos m theta plus i sin m theta now we prove the theorem for a equal to m plus 1 Right. A equal to a plus one. That is, cos theta 
प्लस आई साइन थी क्या बोलते हैं कि और एम प्लस वन इक्वल टू कॉस थी क्या प्लस आई साइन थी क्या बोलते हैं कि और एम इन कॉस थी क्या प्लस आई साइन We already suppose cos theta plus i sin theta whole group by a equal to cos m theta plus i sin m theta. Right? Multiplied by cos theta plus i sin theta. It is your cos m theta cos theta minus साइन एम थीटा साइन थीटा प्लस आई कॉस एम थीटा सॉरी साइन एम थीटा कॉस थीटा प्लस कॉस एम थीटा साइन राइट नाउ व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस एम थीटा कॉस थीटा माइनस साइन एम थीटा साइन थीटा It is your cos m plus one theta plus i sine m plus one theta. So the theorem is true for n equal to m plus one. Now we suppose earlier. The theorem is true for n equal to n, and lastly we put the theorem for n equal to n plus one. Previously, previously we put the theorem for n equal to one to six. So we can write six. The theorem is true for n equal to two. Then it is also true for n equal to two plus one, that is three, three plus one, that is four, etc. Therefore. The theorem is true for all positive integral values of integral. The theorem is true for all positive integral values of. Then case number two. Case number two. In case number two, we take the negative integral values. Case two. N is negative integer. Right? N is negative integer. That is minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. Let n equal to minus n. N is greater than zero. Therefore, cos theta plus i sin theta both should be equal to n equal to cos theta plus i sin theta equal to the power minus n. That is your one by one by cos theta plus i sin theta both should be equal to n. Now a is positive integer. 
A means positive integer. So by case one, we can write it as cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Since n is positive integer. Now we can break it into a plus ib form by multiplying the conjugate of cos n theta plus i sin n theta that is cos n theta minus i sin n theta with numerator and denominator cos n theta minus i sin n theta y it is your cos square n theta plus sin square n theta. That is your cos n theta minus i sin n theta. Right? That is equal to. We can write it as cos of minus n theta plus i sin minus a theta since cos of minus theta equal to cos theta and sin minus theta equal to minus sin theta right now what is the value of minus m cos n theta plus i sin a theta. Okay. That is for negative integer value. Cos theta plus i sin theta root to the minus n. We prove it as cos a theta plus i sin a theta. Therefore, therefore, the first part of the theorem has been proved. That is, for all integral values of a, cos theta plus i sin theta root to the power a equal to cos n theta plus i sin a. Thank you. Next class. We prove the second part of this theorem that is for fractional values of a, one of the values of cos theta plus i sin theta root to the power a equal to cos n theta plus i sin theta.